That's kind of cute. $1.49, huh? Easter's coming. Looks like there's more or one like it. What's this? Yeah, that's another one. So there's a pair of those. They're kind of a thin sort of material and they're very primitively painted. I have a feeling they're not worth too much. Probably, probably eight bucks, maybe. They're $1.49 each, so I mean, I would make a little bit, but just the hassle of having them and having to pack them up and all that. Oh my gosh, is that a Starbucks cup? Seattle, you are here, 349. I wonder if Amy has Seattle, even if she doesn't, um, that would be a good resale item because Seattle's a pretty popular place. So heck yeah, we just found a Starbucks mug for Amy. Well, okay. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Rami's Retro. I am back from San, um, why do I keep saying that? I am back from South Dakota, I guess because it's SD and in my brain SD is San Diego. Um, anyways, I'm back, I'm home and um, I need to go shopping. So we are at the Goodwill on 51st and Olive and I'm excited to get in and see what we can find. This Goodwill is usually pretty loud and pretty busy. Um, but we'll see what's going on. So let's head inside. Well, let's get started in wood, why don't we? Um, there are some people down some of the aisles, so we might bounce around a little bit today, but I'm sure there's gonna be some good stuff. I can just feel it. Um, the music is not too loud today, which is kind of nice. Um, they've got it turned down to a very reasonable amount, level, so that's good. far nothing too fantastic however in wood gotta make sure we get down here to the bottom tomatoes 99 cents decoupaged on there. Interesting. Oh, there's a little wood fishy in here. What's this guy? Um, okay. Well, he's definitely hand-painted. That son, though, is so unhappy. Why is he so sad? $4.49. It's got, like, a plate hanger on it. Um, I don't like that the son is so angry. Otherwise, it's kind of cute, um, but it looks like this also was broken off and repaired at one point. So we'll go ahead and leave the sad sun fishy behind. Harvest blessings. Um, there's a girl in here. Why is this girl in here? She's not made of wood. Um, 349. She's very Pocahontas looking. She's pretty. All right, well, it looks like wood did not deliver for us today. That is pretty sad. Um, what's this butterfly? I wanna see this butterfly. This is more of like a composite material rather than wood. Um, and it looks like it is broken in half. It's just barely hanging on for 549. Otherwise that would have been pretty good. But damaged, that's what happens when you get packed underneath all of that. Okay, let's see what we got in candle holders and metal and things. I see a little puffer fish back here. I don't know that he's terribly old. He's kind of like a little pomander. You can see the stuff that's going on inside there. Um, no price on him though. Shucks, could have put him in the white sale that we've got coming up. 4.49 on that candle. It's got some damage to it though. Um, I see a little angel back here. What's this guy? Um, interesting. 349. Huh, I don't know. I think we'll go ahead and pass on him for right now. And that's for something. Hobbyist piece. Christmas time, chips, lots of chips. So we're gonna say no to that guy. Um, this has a bunch of damage on it too, otherwise that would have been really cool on that little shelf. That's actually really awesome, 549, but yeah, very, very broken. 
so we'll have to pass on that guy too. All right, we've got our uh, kitchen ware, bakeware, things like that. Two forty nine on that little bottle. Um, it would have a, it should have a stopper to it. Um, I don't think it's really worth too much without the stopper, unfortunately. Um, but with the stopper, it would have been a pretty decent pickup. Um, Temptations. These are just bowls, though. Um, Temptations can sell if it's kind of like the fun, unique pieces. Um, but just bowls and plates and things. I mean, they're pretty common. You can still get them, obviously, on, on Home Shopping Network and such. So, And not terribly old. These look really fun. Uh, it's a little snack plate, $4.49. It's missing the other part of it, though. And it looks like it's made in Italy. It's stamped and written on. Um, I don't see any significant damage. We're going to have to look for the cup that goes with this. Um, and I see another one back. Oh, there's maybe the cup that goes with it. Okay, all right. We're getting somewhere here. Perfect, Italy. That is the cup that goes with it. And we've got another one back here as well. Looks like he's in good shape. No ch chips or breaks. So I think we're gonna go ahead and pick that guy up. On the other side of wood, they have like picture frames and stuff. And I know there's a couple other Goodwills that do this too. I really wish they wouldn't because it gets so packed that it's a difficult to shop. But I do want to see what a couple of these things are. This is like a ceramic picture frame and I really like the color. So I just want to see what we got going on here. 349, that is pretty. Well, it's got like a little blemish right there. So I guess we'll pass on that. There's another one down here I wanted to try to take a look at. That one's wood with, with little sugar skulls, 349. Okay. Um, well, okay, strike out. And we've got, uh, Sort of office supplies and things like that. It looks like a really old hole punch, huh? Two hole punch. Dark green metal. That's kind of cool. Wilson Jones Chicago. 449. I wonder if it's got any value to it. It still seems pretty smooth and nice. I don't know. It's definitely neat. I don't need a two hole punch, but it's cool. I would like a big um, tape dispenser, like for packing tape. So we're on the lookout for that kind of item. Um, it would be really nice to find something like that um, so that it's easier for me to tape things up for shipping. And here we've got some clocks, a little barometer. Oh, but it doesn't look like there's anything for us in clocks. So. Let's see if we can get over to figurines yet. This is quite the wood bowl, but I'm not exactly sure. Oh, it's like a, it's like a um, shield for $8.49. Big carved wooden shield. It's interesting on the other side. You can hang it up on the wall. Huh. It's got, it's got some uh, interesting carving to it, but it's also got some breaks and chips and things. It's really big. I think we're going to go ahead and leave that behind, although it is kind of cool. Um, so let's see if we can get into figurines. Well, still a little bit too much going on in the figurine aisle. There's like four people over there. So let's see what we've got down this aisle. They have a lot of new stuff in boxes sometimes. So um, definitely worth checking out. Like that's really cool. A little microwave pan. But nothing really for us. Some canister sets. Um, there's a Temptations, like, little cake plate thing. That's kind of fun. Oh, it's just the top. $5.49. If it had the bottom, that would be nice. Um, that's really cute, actually. It's too bad we don't have the bottom. A little sugar bowl. Salt and pepper. It's a little golf guy. He's cute. $4.49 on him. Hmm, little Santa cow shaker all by herself, all by her lonesome. Oh, look at the berries on that. That's kind of pretty. That's this guy. $4.49. Oh, 
um, hand painted in Portugal. It's got a chip on the side there though. Looks like they were selling it for four dollars somewhere. So we'll pass on that guy. Oh, I see a planter back here. It's a bunny planter and Easter's coming. That's really cute. I think I feel some damage though. Oh, no, the ear's okay. He does have kind of a crazy face, but looks like he's pretty good. There is a little tiny chip here on the front, a couple of them, $4.49, huh? Okay, I think we'll throw him in the cart and maybe think about it. And then what else do we have here? I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Kind of pretty. Six forty nine, made in Italy. Well, maybe we'll grab that quick and look into that as well. That's kind of sweet, but I think it's newer. It's not very old. And made in China. A sugar and creamer set, but they don't have a, any maker's mark or anything on them. And I want to see what this little guy is, but there's a lot to try to get out of the way first. So let's do that without breaking anything. Um, okay, it's like a little cheese plate. Um, Shafford Ironstone. 449. Will this come off? What is this? Looks like that's in there. That's like a stain that's in the porcelain. So I think we're going to go ahead and pass on that guy then. I think we've seen this turkey plate before. It's like melamine, yeah. Not ceramic. That's got some age to it. I like the avocado green. Prima Stone Noritake. 249. I think we'll maybe we'll look that guy up too. And while we're down here, what's this? Egg plate. Uh, kind of dull. I think we'll leave him behind. All right. Um, let's see if we can get over to figurines yet. Okay, well, we're in plates. Let's check out plates. Um, there's some... I think this is probably not... Uh, old and it's got a big huge giant chip taken out of it. It's made in Italy um, But it's not very old Jamestown, China uh, That's got a label on it that is in another language um, Looks like it's missing something though like it's the base for something so I guess I guess we'll pass on that Head on down the road here, see what else we've got. I like this. We've seen this pattern before. I think this is probably leftover from from a while ago. This Picasso, I really like it. Um, but $6.49 on the inside is pretty, pretty damaged. Um, utensil marks and things like that. So we'll pass. Looks like there might be something old though underneath all of this. So what's going on down here? Oh. Very underwhelming. They are melamine cafeteria trays. <laughs> so, no to that. Go ahead and pass on that. Doesn't look like there's anything up on this top shelf that's too interesting for us. Nothing down below. Um, these are kind of bright and colorful. Nature table. Interesting. There's three of those guys. them together. And then we've got bowls. Not seeing anything too interesting in bowls. It's a little milk glass guy. Um, it looks like this is a fun little set, but I think we'll pass. Looking for something a little more colorful if we're going to pick up any more dishes. <clears throat> All right, well, looks like plates was a strikeout. 
Okay, glasses, cups, and mugs. Let's see what we've got in this aisle. Doesn't look like there's too much that's new, even though we haven't been here for a little while. So kind of a strikeout, I guess, for us in, in mugs. Um, let's see if we can get into figurines yet. Okay, we are here, we have arrived. Let's see what's left for us. That's kind of cute, little harp, wind chime kind of a thing. I'm Dubas. He's very s s creepy looking in there. Uh, two's Company, I think that says, so we'll pass on that. Cute little trinket box, 249. It's a little angel. Little cherub, 349. That's kind of sweet. Maybe for our white sale. I don't think it's got a lot of age to it, though. We've got a pretty good uh, selection for our white sale. That's kind of iridescent. I know some people like that. 349 on this. Lots of damage to the paint and everything, though. It's very, very worn and very, very dirty and very, very gross. There's a picture frame back here. Swans, that's kind of pretty, 249. Um, I think maybe it's George Good. I can't read the label completely, but for 249, I think we'll definitely pick that guy up. A little planter, Napco, 249. Um, I don't know. It's missing the laces, but you could always replace those. Um, I've got several baby planters right now. I really probably don't need another one, but 249 is such a good price. So let's go ahead and pick that up too. Also, I wound up picking this up in the bowl aisle. It was down at the very, very bottom shelf and I crouched down there, really pretty glaze on this great big bowl. Studio pottery made by Lisa. Uh, and I think it's 649, no, 449, 449 for that. No damage or anything. So I definitely am gonna pick that guy up. Um, and then this uh, little Peter Rabbit plate, looks like they sell for about 20 bucks, 16 to $20 by Wedgwood. Um, so that's a sweetheart little thing for $2.49. I'll definitely pick that up. Let's see what else we've got in the figurine aisle here. Oh, I like this guy. What's this? Oh, he's got lots of damage to his little booty. Or is that just label sticker residue? Oh, it looks like it's just sticker residue. So maybe he's not damaged. 1954 he was painted. And he is $349. I think I'm definitely gonna pick that little guy up for $349. He's got some definite age to him. He's got a date on him, so it's a little pepper bowl. Covered jar. $449. He's wavy, he's heavy. He's kind of creepy, little little bunny rabbit for $249. I don't know, his eyes are are scaring are scaring me. And their eyes are scaring me too. I'm not in love with that one either. So, music box, 349. Little girl with her bear. Looks like all the pieces are there. Oh, I lied. Her ribbon is busted. So, we will leave that behind. Okay. Um, I have one of these, but in like a way smaller version. This one's 549. Mine's teeny tiny, like just a little trinket box. So let's roll on down this second section here. A little nativity. Another sweet little picture frame with a bear. Loom Co. 249. It's a little chip on the bear though, so I guess we'll leave that guy behind. Some more angels. A little shell. 349 for the shell dish fits in Floyd. Any damage? Nope. Looks like that's a good one. So that's a definite pickup. We will grab that for sure. Um, kind of like in the owl bookends. They've got a little bit of scratching and damage to them though. There's a big chunk taken out right there. So we'll probably have to pass on those guys for five dollars each, four fifty each. Yeah. 
this sculpture is insanely heavy. It's really cool, but it's got some scuffs and scratches on it, and it says made in Korea on the bottom. So I'm gonna pass on that. Um, and I, I know I probably looked at this or picked this up, and I don't want anybody to get mad at me for not grabbing it. Um, Joseph is missing his arm right there, so. He is very cute. I really like the little jar, um, but unfortunately, Joseph is busted, so that's not gonna work for us. Now, what is this? This is really, really cool. This is handmade. This is Talavera, made in Mexico, and 549, so we are definitely going to pick that guy up for sure. I kind of want to see what that cow is, too. <laughs> 549, hangs by a little chain. Um, it's got a mark there. I can't quite tell what it says. K, K I C or something. Huh. It looks like there's more that should hang from the bottom of it, right? And it's got a little chip on his ear. So I guess we'll leave him behind. We got a little loud there for a second. There were some people talking and swearing, so I had to shut off. But while I was off, I grabbed a couple of things. I don't also see this wonderful little cat um, trivet, but it is broken. It is cracked all along right there. Um, so that's really sad because he's so cute. Um, we're going to have to leave him behind. But I got these two guys um, for $4.49 a piece. So those are perfect as well. Those are going to do fabulous. There's no damage or anything on them. So we got some really amazing stuff so far today. I am really, really excited. Um, let's go check out a couple aisles that we missed and the baggies really quick. And if I find anything super fantastic, I will get back to you. Otherwise, we are going to probably head on to the next Goodwill. I don't know what this is. It's in a baggie. It's like a little boy with a bas uh, baseball and a mitt, a baseball bat and a mitt. But I can't, uh, I can't tell what it is. He's like flat on the back with this little piece that's coming out, but I don't know. So I guess we'll have to pass on that guy. So this just happened while I was standing here. Um, and I did grab a couple of things. These little trivets, um, but it, and they're so cool and so fun and so 70s retro but they're all individually priced and a couple of them have some pretty nasty burns on them. So we're gonna have to go ahead and leave those guys behind, unfortunately, um, although I do really like them. But we did find this, 349 Mexico. It's just a little decorative egg, but that's uh, it's a really nice piece of Tanala. So I think we're gonna go ahead and grab that. I don't know what's wrong with my phone today. It doesn't really wanna focus, does it? There it goes, kind of. Anyways, $3.49, that's a great pickup. Um, we found quite a bit of that Mexican pottery today. How exciting. Well, another cart. I grabbed this Norcrest vase. Um, very, very pretty. Has the sticker still, $3.49. We're definitely going to grab that. And I got this little figurine for $3.49. It's ceramic. No chips or cracks or anything. I think I can make some dollars on that. And I got this little Buddha incense holder for myself, $1.49. Uh, I can never have too many incense holders. So, yeah, um, we got a nice full cart today. Well, I mean, not full, but it's pretty full. Um, so those fresh carts help out a little bit. Actually, I might stick around and see if they've got any more coming out. This is something that must have come through um, on one of the new carts. $3.49 for this pair of bowls. Um, that's just a little rough part to the glaze. It's not a chip. They are studio pottery. I think I'm gonna grab those two guys too for $3.49. That's a sweet little pair. Um, and then I also grabbed um, this guy for $2.49. I can't quite read what it says. 22 karat gold, but I don't know who, ma who makes it. Um, I think it might be Georgian. Um, but it's really pretty. And I mean, for $2.49, if I sell it for $10, bucks, i will make money. Um, usually the gold is really worn off, and this one's in really, really good shape, and there's no cracks or anything. So I'm going to definitely grab that guy. I think we're going to head on up to the front. <laughs> We've been down this aisle, so this must have just appeared too. But it totally caught my eye as I was walking by, and I was like, oh my gosh, wait, I have to stop. But it is so cute. I don't know what it is. It's got these little people that attach to it, and I would get it, but her hand is totally broken. 
Um, and then this guy, they're selling him separately, but he connects on there and he's diving into the pool. And then this little guy um, looks like me sitting in the hot tub with his little ducky. I don't know, it's very interesting, that's for sure. But because of the damage, we'll have to go ahead and leave it behind, um, which is kind of a bummer because definitely cute. Um, all right, now, now let's head to the front. Okay, well, our total spend there was $52. Um, I'm really excited. We got some really cool things. Um, I was kind of go, go, go at the end of there with all those carts that came out. Um, I think we're going to head to one more store. Um, I want to check out Dunlap and I-17. So let's head that direction and I'll meet up with you down the road. Well, I guess we traded the quieter Goodwill over there for the louder Goodwill over here because it's pretty loud in here today and that's typically not the case. So we might have to move a little quick through these aisles. Now uh, let's see if we can find anything right off the bat here. These guys have been hanging out for a little while. Um, okay, well, nothing is jumping off the shelf into my cart quite yet. Little frame here. There's chips on the flowers, of course. I kind of like this little fish. He's new though, modern. This is a sweet little guy made in Japan. Looks like there's chips on the roses though, of course. All right, well, we kind of buzzed through figurines there pretty quick with uh, not too much fun stuff. What's this? 349. VS. So it's like a little studio piece, hand painted. There's a big chip on the bottom there, but it's on the underneath. So that's not necessarily too bad. Um, it doesn't look like it wants to shut all the way though. That's kind of weird. And there's another little chip right there. I do like the yellow, but I think we'll go ahead and pass. Um, it's this little guy. He's a cutie, isn't he? 149. Easter is a coming. He is cute with his little hat. Uh, maybe we'll throw him in the cart at least and think about it. Um, so, okay, that gets the ball rolling. Here's some tiles. 249, 249. Uh, 349. Chipped. That's not going to work for us. Oops. Okay, well, let's swing around the corner. She's awfully cute, little girl with her, I think little shears are supposed to go in there. Um, and then you can put, I don't know, probably ribbon or something there because I think the ribbon, the string is supposed to come out right here. So she's like a string holder. Um, and I don't know what the label says, I can't tell, but um, she's really sweet. She needs a good bath and a price, but um, they're usually pretty good about pricing things here. So. I think we'll go ahead and grab that. I don't know why I like this so much, but I do. <laughs> it's very dirty. It was obviously sitting in somebody's house for a while, but it's like it says latte, and then there's the like steam from the latte for $5.49. That's cute for your kitchen or whatever. It's not old, but and then this little guy, this definitely is old. These are $2.49. Looks like $2.49 each, but they're very, very unfortunately very badly damaged so um this one's got a big chunk taken out and there's chips on the front they're kind of like a plasticky sort of material so they have not held up too well over the years unfortunately <clears throat> and we got some bathroom stuff we don't usually find anything there and then we're going to slide on over here into wood and see if there's any fantastical stuff in the wood that's kind of cool. Oops, six forty nine for that little box. It's like a metal box. That's kind of neat. I like that. Um, I think I might have to throw that in the cart for six forty nine. Uh, what else do we have in here? It looks like we might have some art down here. What's that? 
haven't found any good art today. That is some good art by Betty, looks like. Um, that's very pretty. It is the original, very Bob Ross-like. Frame's got a couple of little dings here and there, but not too bad. For $4.49, I think we're going to go ahead and grab that. That's probably maybe $75 for that guy, so that's a good pickup. Here's a Natchez river boat on the Mississippi. $5.49. Hmm. It's kind of cool. It does have some age to it. Don't know how popular it would be, though. Here's a little velvet. Um, not really a big fan of the Mary Jane, so I think we'll pass on that. Life is beautiful. Well, yes, it is. It can be. Not seeing too much else, though, in wood. So I think we're going to... Is this West Virginia? This looks like West Virginia. It is West Virginia. Okay. Well, at least I know my state shapes. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and... Uh, say that's all we're going to get in wood is that painting, but hey, that wasn't bad. I'll take it. Um, let's go check out the rest of art. Well, here's another original piece. This one's 1949. It's very, very big. It's got some damage right here on the mountain, which is a shame, um, but it is really pretty. Um, very large, though, so we're going to have to pass on this guy, but it's pretty cool. All right, well, we didn't get to mugs, so let's try to check out mugs. See what we've got going on over here. I like that with the seagull. Oh, San Francisco. Huh, with seagulls on it. That's definitely vintage. It's got some crazing, some yuck on the inside. I think that's going to affect the value a lot, unfortunately shucks because that's really cute all right well let's keep going let's see what else we got that's kind of cute dollar 49 huh easter's coming looks like there's more or one like it what's this yeah that's another one so there's a pair of those they're kind of a thin sort of material and they're very primitively painted i have a feeling they're not worth too much probably Probably eight bucks, maybe. They're $1.49 each, so I mean, I would make a little bit, but just the hassle of having them and having to pack them up and all that. Oh my gosh, is that a Starbucks cup? Seattle, you are here. $3.49. I wonder if Amy has Seattle, even if she doesn't. Um, that would be a good resale item because Seattle's a pretty popular place. So, heck yeah, we just found a Starbucks mug for Amy. Well, okay. If we find nothing else, I guess that's not bad. Scaradelli chocolate. I like the graphics on that. It's really neat. Um, it's like a studio piece or something. I kind of like that. Mud Love. Drink life-changing coffee. Okay. Oh, it's Fozzy. Isn't that Fozzy Bear? Oh, he's cute. Okay, okay. What's this? The Lord is my strength. Well, I think we'll leave that behind. Oh, here's some more San Francisco. These are definitely old, too. I really like the glaze on that. Um, and there's several of these. What the heck? There's like four of these. Are they all San Francisco? San Francisco. San Francisco. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Should I get those? I could sell them individually and probably make, I don't know, 10 bucks, 15 bucks each on them. This one's got some staining on the inside. I guess they kind of all do. Maybe they're glazed that way, though. I have a feeling that they're they're probably made like that. Well, I don't know. 
maybe maybe it is stained and it's not gonna come out and nobody wants a stained coffee cup it's gross it's prescription oh here's another san francisco but this one's pink it's all damaged on the inside too i guess somebody got rid of their whole san francisco mug collection huh but they're all in rough shape so that doesn't really help us out very much what's this i don't know what that is some kind of restaurant or something well what a bummer hey at least we got that starbucks cup though that was cool that's really awesome okay let's slide over to glass is there anything in glass or fancy glass nope doesn't look like it all right well i think we're probably gonna go ahead and head out then i saw this little clay art um fishy mosaic fishy but unfortunately $1.49 but unfortunately he's chipped on the edge there and he's got a big break right there on the bottom too the bottom one I could probably forgive but the one on the side um, we can't go for that unfortunately um, but I did find a couple of other things um, there's this I don't know if you remember um, towards when I first started making videos we went into a Salvation Army and we found the bottom half of a turkey it was this piece right here, and I couldn't figure out what it was, and I turned it around, and I said, ah, it was a turkey. Well, look, in this $4.49 baggie, there is the turkey bottom, the turkey top, so the little jar, and two shakers. Um, so I'm going to grab those. I am so excited. That is really, really cute. Um, so I'm going to take that for sure. And then um, there's this platter with a longhorn on it and some other little symbols from Texas. And this is actually made by Storyteller Arts uh, by Rachel and Richard Elizondo. They actually also made some shakers that I bought, um, I think at this Goodwill, as a matter of fact, um, that I totally fell in love with. Um, so I couldn't find anything on this guy online. Um, he's very dirty. He needs to be cleaned, as you can see. Um, he's $12.49, but he's in really good shape. And I think he's fun and unique. So I'm going to pick him up. Um, then... I kind of looked through the rest of this. I didn't find anything um, that was exceptionally wonderful. Um, so I think now we will go ahead and head up to the front. Well, I swung by Little Art really quick and I found this needlepoint. Needlepoints do well for me. It's only $1.49. I'll probably take it out of this frame because um, this frame isn't all that great. Um, but uh, for $1.49, that's pretty well done. Uh, busy hands make happy hearts. So I'm going to grab that. And then I also got this Lillian Vernon um, pitcher with vegetables. Um, I've got quite a few pieces of my own by Lillian Vernon, and I really like this, and I think it'll do well. I can probably sell that for about 15, 20 bucks. It's $4.49, $5.49. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that guy as well. And um, yeah, now, now we are heading to the front. See, we are actually going towards the front of the store. Come on, Rami, you can do it. Go to the front. Okay, we got out of there spending $38. We found some really cute stuff. Um, so I'm excited to see where we go with those things. Um, being out of town for a week, I did not post anything on eBay. So tomorrow I really <laughs> have a lot of work ahead of me. This whole week, actually. So um, definitely check out my eBay store for new listings on all the fun finds that I've been uh, finding the past couple of weeks. And thank you all, of course, as always, for joining me on my adventures. Um, I appreciate all your love and support. We are on the journey together to a thousand subscribers. So please like and share and tell your friends all about Rami's Retro. And until next time, have fun in your journeys and in your travels. And I will see you later. Bye.